How do you do, my friends, abundant everywhere, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls and others? I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is our business, and our special business today, as it was when we last met, is vibrating plates. These plates are called Schladni plates. Capital C-H-L-A-D-N-I. And the figures that arise when they are excited, bold, made to vibrate, are called Schladni figures. Now, a word about this. Professor Schladni showed such things to Napoleon. And Napoleon said, Professor Schladni makes musical sounds visible. And I want to go back and make some more musical sounds visible. We have... Oh, I... I'm a little tangled here with my appendages. A smaller plate. Let me bow this bigger one so we get the feeling of what's going on. They're both aluminum. This a little bigger. They're both the same thickness. Oh, that's quiet and beautiful for the soul. I'm going to sprinkle that again. That's probably the lowest order in which I can make the plate vibrate. A four star, a four pointed star. Let me try another pattern. There is six. If you see a little sand or sugar bundled up, it's because the plate is a little damp there and things are sticky. Now let me do the smaller plate. Has less inertia, has a higher pitch. Let me overbow it and get an harmonic. Oh, it was in there, but a little obscured by the fundamental. So, you see, physics has much to do with the generation of music. Indeed, in some universities, courses are given of a formal sort called the physical basis of music. Now watch. Well, that's the four. Now let me go. That's the six. Now I'll try for eight and twelve. There's eight. Three, five, eight. Now I'll try for twelve. Notice, a gambler at heart. Ah. Oh, the plate is stubborn. But we'll be satisfied with this. The beautiful thing called Schladni plates and Schladni figures which comes out of the vibrating plates. And are you not agreed that these things have great and much aesthetic feeling for the spirit?